They'll be calling you a radical, Kevin Blanchard in Denmark. Wow, what a journey this has been. But I want to talk about the human rights activists that I've met all over here. I met some great ones here yesterday. We're doing an incredible movement. I got great photographs with it. Got to meet some great people as far as what China is doing to the Turks. The genocide. I saw the side genocide. Here we go. Genocide, genocide, genocide. You know, your Chinese goods. And I, I mean, I've never bought anything from China ever made by slaves. Not once in my life. I have one iPad. I'll admit that. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it. Uh, PR firm that tried to team me up in Canada bought it. But anyway, so here we are. We talk about human rights issues everywhere, all over Europe. You know, Vienna, DIA. We talk about genocide, we talk about human rights atrocities, and rightfully so, it's horrible. These are the morons of the world feeding the rats. These people are morons. So there's a lot of them like this. That, so I'm standing here arguing with these Chinese because they try to crash the party. I want to show you this when I'm arguing with this Chinese tourist group. And I, I'll put the video on. I got it on video too, by the way, because the emperor has no fucking clothes. So we start talking about it. what's cancer. I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm a carpenter, what's a hammer? You know, all over in Czechoslovakia and Hungary. They don't care. They don't care in Hungary. What? Uh, we're going to have fallen apart. Yeah, so, by the way, I was at the Czechoslovak reactor right there on the border, the one that's leaking. I was there, you know, in the train. I didn't get out. I know better. It's leaking right there. They don't care what a grand place Prague is. Czechoslovakia is grand. What a place, Denmark. But all these human rights, I met them all over, you know. And by the way, they're co op so many of them, you know, Greenpeace in America is a disaster. Greenpeace in Austria is actually still very good, very different in Denmark. It's different from country to country. And by the way, <laughs> you're traveling, you think it's all euros. Oh, hell no, none of these countries take euros, you know. So currency conversion and everything. But all these human rights activists, no, watch Fukushima. So I'm out at the aquarium yesterday in Copenhagen, which is grand by the, oh, they all get it. I talked to all, they're all very emotional. It was really grand. So I'm a human rights activist. And what a moron. They ought to be knocked out. They're rats. You know they're rats. The only thing is doing stuff. You know they're rats. They're rats. And you're feeding the rats. You don't feed me. I don't want. I want. Oh, so. No one gets it. I mean, there's people are unconscious all over the world. You know, human rights activists all over. Like, I'm a carpenter. What's a hammer? I'm a baker, what's cake? Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. So, so what's this thing right here? Yeah, that's him. That's him. Guaranteed to have no clue even who he is or what it is. The emperor has no fucking clothes. Oh, my grandfather, what was his name? My grandfather, what was his name? Christian Anderson. You know, this place been pillaged so many times like Hungary. Talk about the revolution. Which one? You know, so it's amazing place. But I'll put up the video with the Chinese and they're like, oh, you guys are, I said, you're killing people over there. And you know, and one activist got, he says, well, you're the American consumers that buy it. I said, not me. You know, it's human slavery. These guys can sit here a week here and take photos, you know, they can't take them. But, you know, it's a cultural theme park. Oh, hell yeah, it's a cultural theme park. Cultural theme park, take photographs, but nobody has a clue. They're unconscious about any of these glamorous, of any about these stories, anything about the reality, the functioning cognitive process that these stories are about. You guys done? <laughs> Unreal. The world's unconscious. What do you stand for? Is your child's book? The emperor has no fucking clothes. He has no clothes. Nobody knows what the story is. Nobody even knows what it's about. But they all take pictures. And that's everything all over Europe. In the U.S. it's even worse. I, well, I shouldn't say that. In the 
Midwest, it's like we know we just don't have a voice. We're just wrong, but you know, it's all tourism, we're going to a theme park. You know, it's all cliche, it's all been done. You know, we're going to just theme park everything. California is a structural theme park for, you know, a cultural theme park for, not even culture, a theme park to come play volleyball on dead birds, to watch the city. Go, oh, let's get a selfie taken by a dead well. Those are mama sea lions. They don't care. They don't care. The whole world don't watch us. They don't watch us. Because the emperor has no fucking clothes. The emperor has no fucking clothes. Wait till you see this argument with these Chinese. They're clueless. They're rhinos. It's a cultural theme park. Thank you. Like this fucking idiot. I like I think you're hard, you fucking morons. The rats. You know? They're not a native creature that freaking flew around cities and freaked the No, that's what we change at everything. College the I mean it's amazing to me. I'm a carpenter, what's a hammer? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm an environmentalist, I'm a human rights activist. What's what's specific genocide? What's cancer? What's AML? What's death? It's the top of the heap! Post ignorance goes all, covers them all. Covers them all. Post ignorance covers them all. It covers them all. The number one, by far, is one thing Fukushima, the catastrophe, the ecological, greatest ecological catastrophe. Because why? What does it matter about anything else? What does it matter anything else when you can't breathe air, you can't eat food, and you get cancer? Oh, there's a cure for cancer. Eat some maple products. You're so full of fucking shit. There ain't no fucking cure for cancer. You know, there's some stuff chronically that can extend your life. But if you get acute cancer, it's on. It's on. Here in Denmark, wow. We've got some great things planned. You know, I've already done some cool things, but whew, what a journey. What Fukushima? Oh, they knew at the aquarium in Denmark. They knew much more than the Monterey Aquarium about the very the very spot the Monterey Aquarium's on. That's dying right in their face. It's pretty bad. You got to go to the aquarium halfway in Warren for them to understand what's going on in the city. They get very emotional about it. Know, every single one of them from young old that work there know about Pacific Genocide. Know dramatically. The emperor has no fucking clothes. Stand tuned.